Hey, Sonic Grover here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to show you how you can automate different parameters within the Omnisphere synth plugin. Up until this point, I haven't really done any automation, but now with this current piece, I've needed to. And I've needed to particularly change the resonance parameter and the cutoff frequency parameter. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. It's not enough to just go to the automation tool go to the drop down, go to touch mode or latch mode like you can with the alchemy synth, the ES2 synth and so on. With the Omnisphere, you have to do an extra step, but it is pretty simple. So I'll go ahead and do that. We will start with the cutoff frequency. For instance, I will right click this and you can see a drop down menu. Now MIDI CC is for the physical knobs and wheels and faders on your MIDI controller. So I'm not going to be working with that. I actually want to work with the data itself inside the software. So at first I thought it was MIDI note learn, and then I realized it's not, it doesn't work. You actually have to enable the host automation here. And then it still needs a little bit of prompting. So we'll go to the touch mode. That's my favorite. We'll go ahead and start working with the line. And then you can see there, there's that slightly faded line there. So now we also have the parameter labeled. We have the master filter here. So let's go ahead and fill this line in by clicking on it. We can see that the number has brightened. Uh, and so I will pull this all the way down, maybe not, not, not too far down, maybe here to here for a little bit more of that dynamic line. And so you can see now at the start of the piece, we will start here and then move up. The same is true for the resonant filter. So I'm going to want to click on that, enable host automation, and then just start messing with the line. And then we've got that too. So let's go ahead and we see that we have the, uh, the master resonant uh, resonance there. And let's see if we wanted to maybe be a little bit more dynamic with this one. So I'll just go ahead and do the automation curve tool and do that. And we should be good to go. And let's go ahead and solo this out here. So you can see that these are working here. And the resonance parameter is going to be a little slower because it's starting out slow and then moving along quickly to this ramp up here, which you will see it speed on up. There it goes. And there you go. So hopefully you find that helpful if you do work in Omnisphere. So thank you so much for watching and listening, and I will catch you later.